the new 3D system introduces new lights and material workflows. To start with, when importing geometry with the Geo Import node, you'll notice that if you bring in a USD file which contains its own materials and looks, these will display right away in Nuke and be listed in the new scene graph. This gives artists a way to quickly see the assets in a more accurate representation inside Nuke's 3D viewer. Sometimes, however, you just need the geometry itself and to work quickly. With that in mind, we have introduced a new Display Materials checkbox on the Geo Import node, which allows you to toggle between displaying these materials or not to help improve performance when navigating in large scenes. Core Workflows with Materials and Shaders has remained consistent with the classic 3D system. You can use the Image Input, which is now a hidden input to the right of the new 3D nodes, to allow for node stacking without the need of a node to merge the geometry and this allows you to quickly apply a texture or material to your geometry. Or you can use the new GeoBind Material node to create more advanced setups and utilize materials that already exist in the stage. A number of classic shader nodes have been converted to the new system, however we are also introducing a new node called Preview Surface. This is the first step into Nuke fully supporting USD material networks and allows artists to recreate a lot of the workflows you were used to with the classic nodes, but working in a USD-based specular or metallic workflow. The node pipe design is a key element we are looking to update, as currently you have to connect, disconnect and reconnect to find the pipe you want for different texture passes. But with this node, you can create more dynamic materials inside of Nuke. For lights, we are introducing four new USD-based lights to Nuke. Spotlight, Direct Light, Point Light, and Environment Light. These differ from the classic light nodes as they are no longer Nuke-specific lights. In the classic system, if you imported a light from another software, it would get converted into a Nuke light, which would be an approximation rather than a one-to-one -one conversion of the light data. This means you would never get consistent lighting between Nuke and your other 3D tools. With the new USD-based lights, if you create a light in another tool and export it out as a USD, then you will get the same USD light in Nuke, with the same values and results. As the light parameters are based on USD values, you will see updated knob options for each light, and the default value also operates on a different scale. We will be continuing further development improvements to the lights to include shadow support and additional parameters that are currently greyed out, so that we can continue pushing towards a 3D viewport representation in Nuke that aligns even closer with those artists see in other tools to allow for a better shared vision.